Hello. Hey everyone, how's everyone feeling? Feeling good? Make some noise? Okay, I was really scared. Every time you do this kind of stuff, you never know how the audience will react, right? Sometimes you have to just woo yourself, which is kind of weird. So my name is Elisha. This is what we're going to go through today. Um, basically, I will talk and then some ladies will talk and then I'll talk more and then all of us talk and we go home. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I promise you, it's a lot cooler than it sounds. So my name is Elisha. This is the Tech Ladies graduation party. So if you're at the wrong place, just pretend you're at the right place and we're fine. We accept everyone here. So first and foremost, um, thank you to the sponsors, the Artlink, uh, who recently raised funds, like uh, I think four million or something. It was awesome. IMDA Labs for sponsoring the space and uh, PayPal for sponsoring space as well. <laughs> Who? Oh, OK. You're welcome. OK, so let me quickly bring you through what is Tech Ladies. So we are a community for you to learn, connect, and advance as programmers. So what does that mean? I'll slowly bring, it, bring you through that. Um, before that, before sharing with you um, what we do, I think it makes sense for, for us, uh, for me to share about what we believe in. There's uh, three things that we believe in. First and foremost, techno technology is for is for good. So whether is it, you know you learn about you learn programming, you create something that's useful for yourself, or create something that's useful for someone else. And the second thing is that we I believe that or we believe that technology is for everyone, including women. Um, if you are un in this industry, you might not know that in this in the tech industry there's really terrible. Um, gender diversity ratio. So we're trying to create a platform where women can come and hopefully you can tip the skill a little bit. Having said that, woman focus doesn't mean anti-men. We don't hate men. You no, know, not like those bra burning feminists because like you spend so much money and then you burn it off. But anyway. <laughs> so what I believe is that diversity is not a woman's problem. It is the entire industry problem. And everyone within that industry should help to solve the problem together. OK. So we do three things mainly. We're trying to bring people from um, completely zero technical background all the, way who, all the way to people who are already existing programmers. So the first thing we provide a community platform and events like this for you to come and meet one another. Um, yeah, for come and meet one another and learn from one another. So this thing sounds very corporate-y. So the next thing, I try to go crazy. So we try to educate you in uh, technology skills. Um, Basically, that through through giving you platforms and workshop to come and learn programming skills, and also to be aware about what's going on in the industry through our Facebook page. So just in case this is too much, I went back to corporate speak. So the last thing that we want to do is to really give women an opportunity to excel, to enter and excel this industry. So we have the Tech Ladies Bootcamp. That is the distraction. Um, Tech Ladies Bootcamp, which you'll hear from the participants on what they have built and uh, their personal story. And we also, eventually, we want to highlight more women uh, who are already in the industry. We want to highlight their uh, contribution more. That means you know, pushing people to speak at conferences and also tech meetups. So we do three things. If you don't remember, just remember CEO. And if you don't remember, since we're in Facebook, here's another way for you to remember it, if you know about this. Does anyone know about this? Yeah. So the back story is that Mark Zuckerberg was um, 22 years old, and, he's, and he really idolizes uh, Steve Jobs' aggressive style in meetings. So he muttered, I'm CEO, bitch. And someone, his designer just put it into a name card. It's kind of weird. Anyway. So you are here for the Tech Ladies Bootcamp graduation party. So let me quickly bring you through what, oh, by the way, am I speaking too fast? OK, because I'm kind of halfway there, so like oh, nobody got anything, I'll be like, oh, maybe we can do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Good that I don't have to do it again. So this is a 10-week part-time program. 
where women learn how to code by creating products for nonprofits under the guidance of uh, industry experts. So we want to help a uh, woman with near zero background to enter the, the industry, and we take people from all nationalities. So in this program, participants work in groups of three in a team. So you will hear the team presentation later on. For this specific boot camp, we have five coaches, and we are helping five different NGOs. So uh, one thing that's interesting in this, the second boot camp, is that this time around, we let the applicants, we actually ask the applicants to create an app before they can enter a boot camp to learn how to code an app. Don't question the logic too much. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of it kind of worked. So we want to we want we are looking for people who are committed and motivated. So there's a lot of online resources already. It's not difficult for you to put up a simple app, which is why we ask for the bootcamp applicants to create a simple app first as part of their submission uh, material to enter this bootcamp. So 15 of uh, participants were 15 participants were selected out of uh, 48 applications, of which. Eight of them were disqualified because they didn't have an app or they were late. So we're still looking at about 38% acceptance rate for our disput camp. So one participant unfortunately uh, dropped out halfway through the boot camp. So only 14 ladies uh, graduate, which is I think is still amazing. So let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> awesome. So we have uh, five amazing coaches who help these participants build this, this, all the apps that you're going to see. So also give them a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you, coaches. So just in case you are noticing a trend, you don't need to be a bald white guy to teach at a boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awkward joke. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on to what you're here for. So for this bootcamp, we helped five NGOs. So what you're going to, so these are the NGOs. Um, each of the team will talk to you more about um, what this NGO does and what they did for this NGO. So you'll hear in more detail. So I will going to stop talking now so that someone else can talk. So let's put our hands together and welcome um, High Points team to talk us through what they have done.